Hey all, Lawrence from Express Unity here, and today I'm going to be making just a quick tutorial on the little homework subject that I sent you guys in my last video. Um, so basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can update the inventory fairly easily once you uh, purchase from the shop, and how we can update our currency fairly easily uh, once we claim our little bundle there. Um, alrighty, so... The first thing that we want to do is make our way down to the void make purchase area. And when we make a purchase, all we want to do is set our, um, I believe it was our gold, yeah. So we want to set that equal, um, very no, take away equal uh, to our price. So that should now update our, um, our currency um, when you make a purchase. Um, now, when we, let's see, where is it? When we claim, give basic chest, okay. So, um, let me just have a quick look at what this result returns. Uh, it'll be an ID of zero. And if it returns the price, that'll be great. Cost of the catalog item in the given currency. All right, great. So, all we do here is gold plus equal, and in the result dot item um, dot unit price, and of course we need to convert that to an int. All right, so now our gold should update when we claim a chest. Our gold should update when we make a purchase. Um, and the next thing we want to do is, uh, let's see. Where is our inventory? Here, update inventory. So, what we want to do is up here, let's uh, create a private list of game objects. And we'll call this inventory objects. Um, and then uh, we're also going to need to make it equal to a new list of game objects. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, and then, <clears throat> goodness, excuse me. Um, and then inside our update inventory, uh, before any of this happens, uh, so we want to do it inside our successful result. We want to do inventory objects dot clear. Uh, actually, no. What we can do is if inventory objects uh, is not equal to null, then we want to do for each game object, uh, we'll just call it object in inventory objects, and then we want to destroy that object, and then after that is done, we want to do inventory objects dot clear. Right, and then inside of this for each here, let's go ahead and do uh, inventory objects for add, and we want to add our button, which is zero. Um, now, what we want to do is call update inventory when we make a purchase. So down here with a successful purchase, item result, let's paste our update inventory, and with that done, everything should now update correctly. Just run the game here, we'll take a bit to compile, okay, we'll just wait for Playpad to respond. So if we claim, mm, claim, okay, if claim doesn't work, let's see if Inventory update does. Okay, so inventory update works. Um, it does update when you make a purchase. Doesn't update when we claim. Uh, let me just take a look at what this function is calling. Yeah, do basic chest. Um,
Gosh, I'm losing myself in my code. Here it is. Okay. Okay, so we make a successful purchase. It should be updating our gold. Um, it's a currency, it's not a price. Oh, actually, no, this won't work because. Yeah, because um, that's actually getting the price of our uh, bundle, and which in this case is zero, so it's not actually going to do anything. Let's check to see if we can actually get the price of what we're setting. This is a string. Rogue unique items that were awarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might be a bit hard to do it that way. I believe, um, I believe it was 50 gold, so for now we can just do it manually and plus equals 50. Um, so let's, let me just see if 50 is correct. I can't remember if it was 50 gold that we give or 100, so we'll claim that. Yeah, it does. Updated to be 400, but just to make sure, let's reload and see if it's still full. Okay, so it is. It is 100 gold that uh, we give. Now let's try it again. <clears throat> so let's claim. 550 to make sure it's still the same. Let's refresh. Still 550. Let's go down here. Let's actually claim maybe two. Uh, maybe a bit more. One more. Alright, so let's get this crystal. And there it is. We've now auto updated our inventory. It's auto updated our gold. Great. Alrighty then. So, another thing that we could also do is all these requests take a little bit of time. So, we have, let's see, let's go to our login here. So, we have three things that potentially run that slow down the process. We have get news, we have get item prices, and update inventory. So, we could do some kind of loading screen really quickly. So, let's create a new panel that overlays everything. Um, we won't give it any transparency and we'll just make it completely, completely dark. Um, we'll call this maybe load screen. And we want to make a reference in our PlayFab Manager to that load screen. So we want to make a public game object and we'll call it load screen. Great. And we'll just wait for it to compile. There it is. Drag that in there. Awesome. So now underneath that, let's create a new public int, we'll call it, we'll call it loads stage, and inside, inside our update, we have an update, here we do, so we can do something if, we can do something like if uh, load stage is equal to 2, um, and then we can say load screen that's set active. Stage can do load screen that's set active to false. So then inside our get news in the successful result, let's do load stage. 
plus plus. And then inside our, what is it? Get item prices, uh, somewhere up here, I believe. Get item prices, and it's successful. We want to load stage plus plus, and then updating our inventory. Um, when it's successful, we want to load stage plus plus. So this will just be pretty basic pretty basic loading screen it's a black screen that appears um, at the start of the game and it disappears when it's hit uh, stage I think I said it's two it might need to be three oh load stage nine what have I done for it to loop like that Inventory. Um, <clears throat> Let's see here. That's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough for each. Ah, this one. So we want it inside the. Oops, excuse my phone. Inside this area. So we'll just put it on top of that. Alrighty. So that should now give us the correct load stage values. Okay. Um, just need to. Yeah. So when it's equal to three. I was on value off. When it's equal to 3, the load screen should disappear and all our data should actually just be there now. There it is. Except for these images which are on a separate thread. Um, if we wanted to wait for the images as well, we could set this to 4 and do something like... Um, no, you know what? That's probably going to be a little bit harder to do because this is called several times. So yeah, okay. Well, we don't really need to do that, um, but everything else works fine. We've got a little load screen and when it disappears, everything other than the images in our news um, is updated. And then of course, if we buy an item, our gold is updated, our inventory is updated, we claim. We now have 100 gold, claim again. 200 gold, claim. 300 gold, get another Bible. There it is. Alrighty. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Um, if you guys want to see more, please do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, and it might also be worth your while to tick the little bell icon um, because some people said that they didn't actually get a notification for my last video um so yeah alrighty. so i'll see you guys in the next video